This question is to analyze a continuous and differentiable function defined on a closed interval from 0 to 2, with specific values at its endpoints. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Math Tutor 8285. Your subscription fuels the passion. Let's grow together. Copyright all rights reserved. Thank you so much. Let g of x be continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 2, and differentiable on the open interval from 0 to 2, with g of 0 equal to 0 and g of 2 equal to 2. Suppose constants m and n are both greater than 0. Which of the following statements is always true? There are four options. First step, we apply the intermediate value theorem. Since g of 0 equals 0 and g of 2 equals 2, and the target value 2m divided by m plus n lies strictly between 0 and 2, the intermediate value theorem guarantees that there exists some alpha between 0 and 2 with g of alpha equal to 2m divided by m plus n. Therefore, statement A is true. Next step, apply the mean value theorem. On the interval from 0 to alpha, there exists a point beta such that g prime of beta equals g of alpha minus g of 0, all divided by alpha. That simplifies to 2m divided by m plus n, then divided by alpha. On the interval from alpha to 2, there exists a point gamma such that g prime of gamma equals g of 2 minus g of alpha, all divided by 2 minus alpha. That becomes 2 minus 2m divided by m plus n then divided by 2 minus alpha. Then, next step, we combine the two derivatives. Now compute m divided by g prime of beta plus n divided by g prime of gamma. Substituting the expressions from step two, this equals m times alpha divided by 2m over m plus n, plus n times 2 minus alpha divided by 2 minus 2m over m plus n. After simplification, this becomes alpha times m plus n, plus 2 minus alpha times m plus n which equals 2 times the sum m plus n. After that, next step is to observe the scaling difference. Unlike the original problem, where the interval length was 1, here the interval length is 2. This difference in length causes the result to be 2 times m plus n rather than simply m plus n. Therefore, statement B is false. Final answer. Only statement A holds. The correct choice is option A. Always pay attention to the interval length when applying the mean value theorem because the length of the interval directly scales the final result. That's it for this question solving. This video is based on our math tutoring blog and class recordings. Copyright all rights reserved. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel Math Tutor 8285 and turn on the notification bell. Press the like button. Your subscription fuels the passion. Let's grow together. Thank you so much.